We have an older membership. I think it probably 75 years would be an average. And for a period of six or eight years, we prayed for more young people, more children, more youth. And we would have some come for a little while and then leave. And in the last three years, we've been truly blessed in part by Diane Fisher. I found this church through the food pantry. We were in need and I came to this food pantry and and then I decided, well, I'm gonna give this church a try and I did and they're just, just welcomed me with open arms and then I started bringing my grandkids here. It is a very welcoming environment. Everybody on Sabbath will come and greet you and just very warm. And whenever you walk in a church, like if you smile at somebody, they're going to smile back at you. Like no one is like distant. We're all like, we're all just get along. On like during the week, they'll call you and like people at the church will just call you and ask you if you're doing okay and all, all that. And... What we've found is children beget children. If you have some and they, they sell your church, then others come. How I came, started to go to the church was my sister Alexis. She asked me, hey, do you want to come to church one day? And I was like, okay, I can, I'll see what it's like. And at first I was really nervous and then I met Sue and Bob and I was like, whoa, I love this. And all the people were sweet and kind and I learned a lot and it made me feel more connected. We've been bringing friends and siblings and cousins and stuff like that. What I usually tell them to get them motivated to come to church is, well, there's some really nice people here and, you know, God is a big part of your life. You know, He loves you. He sees you every day. He makes sure you're okay. And you just, if you come to church, you can be so much more connected with God than you already are. And I think one of the things we learned from the other youth that we had here, that we never, I like to say, gave them the keys to the church. We welcomed them, we let them do it. We never gave them something to do. And so this time we've given them something to do and we let them tell us what they, we, what they wanted to do. We have a schedule of activities, they prepare it. They gotta be part of the church. If they're gonna stay here, they've gotta be part of the church family. So short, not short, but a simple answer is give them the keys to the church. How I've become a owner of the church. I feel like once I got baptized, I felt so connected with everybody even more than I already felt. And I felt like maybe if I get a job, I'd be 10 times more connected and I can make everybody see that I love you guys. You know, I want to be here. I want to spend time with you. I want to learn about God with you. And I, I think I've definitely brought that out on everyone. I've learned like a sense of like responsibility. Like I feel responsible and I feel like I can pretty much do anything with the church because I know they have my back. I learned to be very kind and caring and also responsible and to take care of the church. They've come a long way because I never thought I would have seen my, my grandkids studying openly the Bible in, you know, a fast food restaurant. but. We go and we do it, and they have no problem with it. So that's awesome. And what they, they're the future of this church. The people like myself and other members, and if this church is gonna survive, then these young people are gonna be the ones that lead it into the future. Don't stand back and say, we used to do it this way, so you've gotta do it this way. That's not gonna win any souls. That's not gonna win any souls. I don't care how old you are, and I keep harping on this, the leaders and the older people are sitting back fussing about things. They could take a leadership role. You know, mentor a young per person. It, it's kind of a two-way street. You want them to be part of the church family. Okay, bring them into your heart. Bring them into your heart. If anybody tells me they're too old to work with young people, come see me, okay? <laughs> I'd be more than happy to tell them out. Uh, 